Accept Zachariah and Elizabeth and just make their offspring to be the forerunner. From the ruin of Jesse, according to the flesh, thou is but forth the ever virgin one, and was incarnate of her, and was born of her, for the redemption of the human race. Through thine unutterable gift and manifold goodness, thou hast come to Cana of Galilee, and hast blessed the marriage there, to make manifest, that is, the, thy will, that there should be lawful marriage appropriation. Do thou the same, O holy master, Accept the prayers of us, thy servants. As thou was present there, be thou also present here with thy invisible protection. Bless its marriage and grant to these thy servants, Richard and Margaret, a peaceful life, length of days, chastity, mutual love, in the bond of peace. 
long-lived offspring, gratitude for their children, a crown of glory that does not fade away. Graciously grant that they may see their children's children, preserve their blood undefiled, and give them of the dew of heaven from on high, and of the fatness of the earth, fill their hearts with hard houses with wheat, wine, and oil, and with every good thing, so that they may give in return to those who are in need, and grant also to those here present with them all those petitions which are for their salvation. For thou art the God of mercies and bounties and love for mankind, and unto thee to rest my glory, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Let us pray to the Lord. Blessed art thou, Lord our God, priest of mystical and undefiled marriage, and the ordainer of the law of the marriage of the body, the preserver of immortality, and the provider of the good things of life. The same master in the beginning this made man and established him as a king over creation. It is, and to say it is not good that man should be alone upon the earth. Let us make a helper fit for him. Taking one of his ribs out of his fashion woman, and when Adam saw he said, This is the last bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman because she was taken out of a man. For this reason the man shall leave his father and mother, shall be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. What therefore God has joined together, let no man, let no man put asunder. Do not know also, Master, our Lord, and our God, send down thy heavenly grace upon these thy servants, Richard and Margaret. Grant that this thy hand may be the subject to her husband in all things, and that this thy servant may be the head of his wife, so that they may live according to thy will. Bless them, O Lord our God, as thou didst bless Abraham and Sarah. Bless them, O Lord our God, as thou didst bless Isaac and Rebekah. Bless them, O Lord our God, as thou didst bless Jacob and all the patriarchs. Bless them, O Lord our God, as thou didst bless Joseph and Asenath. Bless them, O Lord our God, as thou didst bless Moses and Zipporah. Bless them, O Lord our God, as thou didst bless Joachim and Anna. Bless them, O Lord our God, as thou didst bless Zechariah and Elizabeth. Preserve them, O Lord, as our God, as thou didst preserve Noah and the ark. Preserve them, O Lord our God, as thou didst preserve Jonah in the valley of the whale. Preserve them, O Lord our God, as thou didst preserve the three holy children from the fire. Standing upon them, down from dew from heaven. And let thy gladness come upon them, which the blessed Helen had, which he found the precious cross. Remember them, O Lord our God, as thou didst remember Enoch, Shem, and Elijah. Remember them, O Lord our God, as thou remember thy forty holy martyrs. Sending down upon them crowns from heaven. Remember, O Lord our God, them and the parents who have nurtured them. For the prayers of our parents make firm the foundations of houses. Remember, O Lord our God, thy servants, the groomsmen, and the bridegroom with the bridal pair, who have come together in this joy. Remember, O Lord our God, thy servant Richard, and thy handmaid Margaret, and bless them. Grant them the fruit of their bodies, fair children, concord of soul and body. Exalt them like the cedars of Lebanon, like a luxuriant vine. Give them offspring in number like unto full ears of grain so that having enough of all things, they may abound in every work that is good and acceptable unto thee. Let them see their children's children like olive shoots around their table, so that finding favor in thy sight, they may shine like the stars of heaven in thee, our God. For unto thee our God, glory on our worship, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Let us pray to the Lord. O holy God, it is for man from the dust, and this fashioned woman from his rib, and this join her unto him as a helper, for it seemed good to thy majesty that man shall not be alone upon the earth. Do thou the same Lord stretch out now also thy hand from thy holy place, dwelling place, and unite this thy servant Richard, and this thy handmaiden Margaret, for by thee the husband is joined unto the wife. Unite them in one mind, wed them into one flesh, granting to them of the fruit of the body and the procreation of fair children. For thine is the majesty and thine, of thine are the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. The servant of God, Richard, is crowned unto the handmaiden of God, Margaret, in the name of the Father, 
and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The servant of God, Richard, is crowned into the handmaiden of God, Margaret, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The servant of God, Richard, is crowned into the handmaiden of God, Margaret, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The handmaiden of God, Margaret, is crowned unto the servant of God, Richard, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The handmaiden of God, Margaret, is crowned unto the servant of God, Richard, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The handmaiden of God, Margaret, is crowned unto the servant of God, Richard, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. O oh Lord our God, crown them with glory and honor. O oh Lord our God, crown them with glory and honor. O oh Lord our God, crown them with glory and honor. Let us attend, peace be untold. And to thy spirit, wisdom, the perfume and honor may come. Thou hast set upon their heads crowns of precious stone. They ask life of thee, and thou gavest it to them. Thou hast set upon their heads crowns of precious stones. They ask life of thee, and thou gavest it to them. For thou shalt bless them forever and ever, and thou shalt gladden them with the joy of thy presence. Thou hast set upon their heads crowns of Stones. They as life of thee, and thou gavest it to them. Thou set upon their heads crowns of precious stone. They as life of thee, and thou gavest it to them. Wisdom. The reading from the epistle of the Holy Apostle Paul to the Ephesians. Let us attend. Brethren, give thanks always for all things to God that he might present it to himself a glorious church, not having spot or wrinkle or any such thing, but it should be holy without blemish. So husbands ought to love their own wives as their own bodies. He that loveth his wife loveth himself, for no man yet hateth his own flesh, but nourishes and cherishes it just as the Lord does the church. For we are members of his body, of his flesh, and of his bones. For this purpose shall a man leave his father and mother, and shall be joined unto his wife, and the two shall be one flesh. This is a great mystery, but I speak concerning Christ and the church. Nevertheless, let every one of you in particular so love his own wife even as himself, and let the wife so reverence her own husband. Peace be unto thee, reader. And to thy spirit. Alleluia, in the fifth tone. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Thou, Lord, shall protect us and preserve us from this generation forever. Alleluia. Disciples. 
When they gave out the wine, the mother of Jesus said to him, They have no wine. And Jesus said to her, O woman, What have I to do with me? My hour has not yet come. His mother said to the servants, Do whatever he tells you. Now six stone jars were standing there for the Jewish rites of purification, each holding twenty or thirty gallons. Jesus said to them, Fill the jars with water. And they filled them up to the brim. He said to them, Now draw some out and take it to the steward of the feast. So they took it. When the steward of the feast tasted of the water now become wine, they did not know where it came from. Though the servants who had drawn the water knew, the steward of the feast called the bridegroom and said to him, Every man serves the good wine first, and when men have already drunk freely, then the poor wine. For you have kept the good wine until now. This is the first of his signs that Jesus did in Cana of Galilee, and manifested his glory, and his disciples believed in him. Let us say with our whole soul, with our whole mind, let us say.
and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Peace be unto all. And to your spirit. Bow your heads unto the Let us pray to the Lord. O oh God, who has created all things by thy might and has made firm the world, and adorned us the crown of all that thou hast made, bless now thy spiritual blessing, this common cup which thou dost give to those who are now united for a communion of marriage. For blessed is thy name and glorifies the kingdom. Of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. And thou, O bride, be exalted like Sarah, and exalt like Rebecca, and multiply like Rachel, and rejoice in thy husband, fulfilling the commandments, conditions of the law, for this is well pleasing to God. Let us pray to the Lord. O oh God, our God, it has come to Cana of Galilee, and has blessed the marriage feast. Bless also these thy servants, who through thy good providence are now united in wedlock. Bless their goings out and their comings in. Fulfill their life with good things. Receive their crowns into thy kingdom, preserving them as spotless, blameless, and without reproach unto the ages of ages. Amen. Peace be unto all. To the Lord. May the Father and the Son of the Holy Spirit be all holy. Conscience. 
not substantial like pity, Trinity, one God, and in one kingdom. Bless thee and grant thee length of days, to our children prosperity and life and faith, and fill you with all earthly good things, and make you worthy to enjoy the good things of the promise, through the prayers of the holy Theotokos, and of all the saints. Wisdom, the most holy Theotokos, save
The reason why marriages fail is because we're always looking out of our self-interest. What am I getting out of this? But see, Christ gave us life as a ransom for many. And so that is what we have to take to our marriage. You have to give your life for your spouse, and then you will always live in harmony. I was laughing when we heard all those hymns about bearing children. <laughs> but there's a spiritual significance. Because when you and Meg shine the light of the gospel to the world, you will bring new children, sons and daughters to the faith. And you might even be their own godparents. And so you will still bless children and bring children into this world. A different child, a child a child in the kingdom of God. So never forget that. That is what this marriage is all about. You are being united in, as one in Christ, and together you will glorify Christ, and the rest of the world will see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. So on behalf of Christ the Savior, we welcome you again now as a married couple in the church, Richard and Margaret, but you've been an indispensable beautiful parishioners here. We're very grateful for you, and we're very blessed to be a part of your special day. So now we will come up together, and we will venerate your holy wedding pine cons. So, so together, you will bow. Let me hold your hand. Bow. Exactly. One more time. Stand in the middle. Right here. Face each other. You may kiss your bride. <laughs> <laughs> Please stay around for some pictures.